Yeah. AP. At the end of every unit, your teacher had the chance to teach a lesson about other lessons and context too and hands. But what do you suppose our teacher has us do? He skips the lesson and makes us present a digital LEQ. Elocution needs historical evidence, reasoning, and that can corroborate and advance a complex thesis that like Dr. John P. Irish would admire. Then we drop the screencast like a single that is fire. Student created screencast for you to like, subscribe, and share. We all know you've all headed John Green and see how much you can bear. If we had the most views by 10 p.m. Eastern on the fifth day. Guaranteed 500 bonus points, but it's virtually guarantees an A. With that much more fanfare, or I do, we present our digital LEQ. Buddhism, Beginnings to 1450, by Alexis J., Cameron B., Jordan B., and Cameron H. Take it away, Cammie. Let's end the video. While watching, please keep these three questions in mind as you are expected to have the answers by the end of the presentation. To start, we have the infamous John P. Irish formatted thesis. This one reads, Nearly all forms of Buddhism observe core beliefs and practices established by its first teacher, Sastarda Gautama, in what is today's northern India with the goal of escaping Samara, a cycle of death and rebirth. However, as Buddhism spread from northern India along trade routes, these beliefs were adapted by the cultures where the religion was adopted by 1450 resulting in the majority of adherents living outside of the region where the religion originally began. Therefore, the changes that the religion underwent more fundamentally defines the importance of the religion than an understanding of its origins. Speaking of the origin, as it was introduced in the thesis, Buddhism was founded by Buddha or Siddhartha Gautama by the 5th century before Christ. His teachings have scattered among his region due to his love for traveling. However, India ran into trouble with sustaining their populous spot for the region around 300 CE, which eventually became China's by the 15th century. Since we are respecting the creator by revisiting the origin, the statue's place on the right side of your screen is actually a representation of Buddha after his first sermon in his enlightenment. These structures are seen in places of worship or is from the southeast region of Asia due to the sight of their long ears. The primary source was found by historians of history.com as it represents the situation of Mariah's empire's predominant decline as new faith passed their boundary lines. Because of Buddha's work, the foundation in or home of Buddhism is established as it began to become discovered by other worshipers to receive their teachings in alternate ways. On to you, Alexis. Thank you, this is Alexis presenting. Buddha was a teacher, philosopher, and a spiritual leader. Buddha is not seen as a deity in most of the Buddhist religions. Changes in the way the religion was carried out shaped Buddha into the symbol that represents Buddhism and its core beliefs. Despite the changes that the religion faced, Buddha's beliefs remain the core of Buddhism. By using the source in the previous slide, we can connect the adaptations that were made and the influence it had on Buddhism's practices. The core of Buddhism revolves around three universal and four noble truths. The universal truths are below and the noble truths are also below. So take a moment to review those. The spread of Buddhism. Buddhism originated in the 5th century BCE when Buddha spread his teachings and began the spread of what was what was to be known as Buddhism and its beliefs. The times below explain what year Buddhism spread to these countries. The map below also shows how Buddhism spread. Take a moment to look at those to help answering your questions later. Buddhism is one of the many religions that face changes as their popularity fell and increased. Factors such as trade, economic status, and neighboring religions influenced the way Buddhism was practiced. 
places such as a silk trade route exposed Buddhism to other religions and new practices were developed. These changes caused the development of the religion and formed it into the forms of Buddhism that are still followed. Changes that occurred for the religion consist of new forms being added to Buddhism, the opportunity for followers to worship a god, new traditions being introduced, which caused the culture to become more diverse, and Silk Road Browse, causing Buddhism to evolve and expand, which allowed Vajrayana and Theravada Buddhism to be made. Reasoning for the previous slide consists that the changes that occurred are due to the expansion and development of Buddhism, which caused the religion to change drastically. You can pause the video to see the other parts. A source that impacted the religion was the Sanskrit canon by Buddha, which expressed the beliefs of Mahayana Buddhism. An impactful quote from him says, the non-doing of any evil, the performance of what's skillful, the cleansing of one's own mind. This is the teaching of the awakened. Sourcing for that quote consists that the members of the sub-religion, Mahayana Buddhism, believe that they achieve enlightenment and to become bodhisattvas through the guidance of Gautama Buddha. You can pause to see the rest. And finally, a quote by Anada Maitreya that best describes the concept of Theravada Buddhism says, Animosity does not eradicate animosity. Only by loving kindness is animosity dissolved. This law is ancient and eternal. religion which interestingly practices the conservative customs as the term means traditions of the elders whereas the older religion of Mahayana has decided to innovate within the regions of India since the 5th century situation when Buddhism got to Southeast Asia in the 15th century they decided to follow Buddha directly as they become our heads and find a final resting place effects of changes as factors such as trade economic status and other religions developing influence Buddhism the religion faced more changes one effect of the silk trade route was that more goods were available in more places and connected the world and then resort created a trade route that connected places like China, Japan, and Central Asia. This connection was able to spread and develop Buddhism and led to an increase in followers. One example of how different cultures influenced things such as religion was the new sub-religion that branched off of Mahayana Buddhism. In traditional Buddhism, Buddha himself is not a god, but is seen more as a role model of life practices beliefs. They introduced new sutras and authoritative teachings of the Buddha. Secondary source number three, reasoning. The results of the changes led to other greater things like better trade goods and the trade route expanded and cultures grew wider. Situation. Following Buddha's death, the effect of people carrying on Buddha's vision led to those effects. Thesis analysis. Theme two. Cultural developments and interactions. Because of the evolution of Buddhism's customs as it spread to different regions, of Asia over up to 1,450 with regards to the sub-religions. Theme 5, Social Interactions and Organization. Considering the sub-religions, members of this faith gradually had to respect the customs of the traditional region. Theme 2 and 5 relate to the spread of the religion, the development of the sub-religions, and the members' interactions brought by the changes. Continuities. The continuity of Buddhism is Buddha himself. Although he is no longer alive, the standards he set and the practices he taught for Buddhism still stand and were still taught by nuns and monks. The majority of the practices that are in traditional Buddhism are still followed by believers in the religion. While places such as India fluctuated Buddhism's popularity, many Asian countries such as China or Korea followed their religion due to the popularity. From its origins to 1450, Buddhism still followed most of its original traditions, such as following the universal and noble truths, and remained popular in Asia. You have reached the end of our presentation. Please take a moment to look at the contextualization. Now, please look at the big ideas questions to review them one more time before revealing the answers.
These are the possible answers that you could have gotten from reviewing our slides. These are also additional sources to help you further. Thank you for watching our LEQ-tion. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to help us get the most views. Peace.